tonight's camera at you. A look back at some of the sickest performances in film history. From Tom Hanks in Philadelphia to Tom Hanks' girlfriend in Forrest Gump. <laughs> Tonight, we focus on the role of Doc Holliday, made famous by Val Kilmer in Tombstone. The southern gentleman cowboy who keeps his raging tuberculosis a secret. But did you know, another actor played Doc Holliday even sicker just a year before. Take a look at this scene from the 1992 film, Cough, Cough, Bang, Bang. Well, if it isn't Earl, my favorite bartender in the whole West, you got a free drink for your old pal, don't you, Earl? My name is Greg, and my God, it's Curly Bill and Johnny Ringo. Their gang's been terrorizing the whole Southwest. All right, listen up. We heard an old lawman by the name of White Erpus hold up in this here town. If you see him, tell him Curly Bill and Johnny Ringo want to pay our respects. <laughs> well, you can tell me yourself. Well, well, White Earp, where's your little lap dog, Doc Holliday? <sighs> Well, I do declare, I, I'd rather be a lap dog than a yellow belly chicken. <coughs> Are you okay there, Doc? Oh. 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 oh, yeah. Just have a little tickle in my throat and a bunch of blood on my face and handkerchief. <coughs> Which means I'm on the man. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you must be Curly Bill. Which makes you the infamous Johnny Ringo. Word is, you're the fastest gun this side of the Mississippi. <coughs> hey, Doc, are you sure you should be out in public? Of course not! <coughs> you just seem like visibly sick. Nonsense! It's just allergies. <coughs> At least cover your mouth! Uh, why? Are you afraid something witty might come out and make your brain actually work for a change? Uh, no, man. He's worried about catching whatever insane illness you have. The sweat is pouring down your face, man. Oh, that's ridiculous. I have a normal body temperature of 108. <laughs> now, can I interest any of you gentlemen in a game of cards? I think you got some kind of intestinal issue there, Doc. <coughs> well, some mixed nuts ought to settle my stomach. Hey, stop touching the nuts. I told you, I am not contagious. It's just a case of the sniffles. What the hell? Dude, do you have, like, Ebola? Hey there, Doc. Ready for round two? Round two? You slept with patient zero over here? Well, I think he's just sweaty because I got him all worked up. Well, I confess I'm feeling a stirring in my britches, which means I'm either aroused or I need to change my diaper again. You're wearing diapers now? Uh, my doctor said a lot of 30-year-olds wear diapers. Uh, did anyone else eat that raw snake at the cookout last week? All right, get the hell out of here. Coming in here with your snake flu, drinking from my cups, and having sex with my white daughter? You know what? I'm gonna end Doc Holliday's life right now before God gets the satisfaction. <sighs> well then, I might as well have one last drink. Earl, you got any orange Pedialyte? <laughs> This ain't no CVS. Fine. Then let's see who's really the fastest gun in the West. One, two, <laughs> three. Oh! Can't believe it. You killed Doc Holliday. I mean, I guess it was more like euthanasia. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because Doc didn't have a gun. He just pulled out a bottle of pills labeled Valtrex. Too. <sighs> On the bright side, you'll always have something to remember me by. <laughs> Chew, I 
I prefer to remain anonymous. Good night. <laughs>